Okay, Steve, this is your group one, the group one section of your workout. We're gonna go over the four exercises in that group. The first one is pelvic tilt on all fours. So all fours position, and we wanna try and arch the lower back as much as possible, and then try to round the lower back as much as possible. Arch and round. That's pelvic tilt on all fours. Second exercise, frog bridge. You're gonna be laying down on your back, Soles of the shoes touching together, get the heels back as far as you can. Lay all the way down. You can start with the arms on the floor, eventually take them off. Push the hips up. Feel like you're squeezing the glutes, letting the knees go apart from each other. That's frog bridge. Number three is knee to opposite elbow and then to the inchworm. So you're gonna be in the push-up position. Right knee to left elbow left knee to right elbow, and then walk the feet in, board straight with the legs. And then you would repeat. Last exercise in group one is the yoga reverse step, which looks like this. I'll do it from this angle. So you're gonna step back, back leg straight, right hand down, and open out. as far as you can. That's group one of your workout. Group two, first one is open book with the arm at the 90 degree angle. So, bottom leg straight, top leg bent, left hand on top of right knee. You're gonna get the arm to 90 degrees and open out the chest as far as possible. And obviously you would do both sides there. Pillow press is the second one. So you just need two, you can use two towels, two pillows, two cushions, whatever you wanna use. Put one up high and put one down low. So we're gonna set it up like this. All right, you're gonna push down here and you're gonna push down up there at the same time. As hard as you can push into the pillows or the cushions or towels, whatever you're using. And obviously you would do both sides there. Dynamic hamstring stretch. Laying down onto your back. One leg straight, the other leg bent. Grab the back of the leg that's up. Slowly try to straighten that leg all the way out. Back to the bent position, 90 degrees. And straighten out. And again, you would do both legs there. And the last exercise of your workout. Standing on one leg. I'll do it from this, this angle. Bending from the waist and bending from the knee. Make sure, let me show you a side view. Do not let the knee go past the toe. Very important for the health of your knee. All right, so bending from the waist, bending from the knee. Right hand touching the left foot. And then of course you would switch sides, all right? Steve, that's your workout, group one and group two. Then I'm gonna to move to the three exercises that I gave you earlier today. The first one being the inchworm. Now remember, we're working on your pelvis position, okay? So make sure you keep that in mind when you're getting set up for this exercise. So push up position. Now remember, your mistake is here, okay? So we're looking for tucked underneath. Once you're in that position, slowly walk the feet in. That's inchworm, wanting to keep the legs completely straight. When you feel like the knees are buckling, you've come far enough, step back and repeat. Second exercise we did was the frog bridge, which is the same as what is in Steve's workout. So again, heels back as far as you can, all the way down. Here is the easiest position. This is the next progression, and this is the toughest. Hips up, knees flared, glutes tight. That's the frog bridge. And the last exercise was the bird dog. This is one on all fours. Again, make sure the pelvis position is in the correct place it's supposed to be. You're gonna feel some engagement in your abs when you are in that correct position. So we don't want this. We want this nice neutral position. From here, maintaining that neutral position, extend the opposite arm and the opposite leg at the same time. So you've got the inchworm, the 
Frog Bridge and the Bird Dog. Have a great time. We'll see you when you get back.